Shonen Games has shared some translations in regards to JJK's Curse Clash, and this is awesome because we're learning more about the way that online is going to work. This, in my opinion, is very crucial. None of this whole, isn't going to be this, that, 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 whatever. So let's get into it. Make sure you guys are subscribed so you don't miss out on this type of content. First up, online mode. We're going to have online versus. In online mode, you can either fight against other people online or play co-op with other people. And you can either team up and fight with other people across the globe or you can do rank battle which is fight with and against people around the same skills your rank will move depending on your outcome and then casual play play with and against others without fear of ranking changing so with online co-op you're paired up with another player online to take on battle after battle including various rule sets However, CPU partners are allowed in order to play single player. Rush Battle. Rush Battle take on ongoing missions with various different rules known as waves with a partner. Clear these conditions and aim to defeat the strongest of opponents. Defeating them will gain you various rewards and strengthen your powers. Then we have Survival. Challenge yourself by taking on the strongest opponents, climbing the ladder to see how long you will last. And then level it. Use experience gained from battles as well as unique items in order to level up and power up your characters in order to take on harder battles. And then we have picture drama. Play through various fully voiced scenes and battles from season one of Jujutsu Kaisen in the movie Jujutsu Kaisen Zero and an original game only episode in the accident report option. As you advance through the story, you gain rewards ranging from costumes to titles among other things and watch various characters and special interactions. Free battle. Hone your skills by choosing your characters, stage, time, limit, etc. in free battle. Learn each and every character and see which playstyle works for you and then customization. Customize your favorite characters with various costumes and color variations then edit your play card to show off your skills. So this goes into all of the stuff in regards to what JJK game modes are going to be from what I can assume. You got online, online versus online co-op, you got survival battle, you got rush battle, you have some form of customization, which sounds pretty dope. The way I see it, are we going to enjoy this? Only time will tell. We have less than four months and we'll have this game in our hands. But if you guys do plan on picking this game up, let me know what you're mostly looking forward to. I think the rush battles and the survival battles might be where I spend a lot of time in, as I feel like that's going to be something that many people may overlook initially, but it's going to be fire. Shout out to Shonen Games for supplying us with this information. That all said, I am Makai San. If you guys enjoy, hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.